Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the RKO Business Solutions Five Phases of Data Capture webinar. So this first slide really is um, the, the essence of, of what we're talking about today. So what, how do we take something that's become a, a relatively common activity like scanning of documents and turn it into something more productive? I mean, we've all been doing scanning for quite some time. And, and you know, there's some benefits there, but, but how can we take that to the next level? And that's really the, the crux of what the presentation is about today. So why, why should you be interested? Well, I can tell you now that uh, organizations can achieve uh, massive, massive benefits from uh, looking at this sort of technology and, and evolving uh, the, their steps as an example um, by doing some of the uh, automation activities that we're talking about today, uh, you can save in accounts payable, for an example, up to $32 per invoice. Now, $32 per invoice, if you think about how many invoices your company gets every single month, uh, the payback can be enormous. And yet, a lot of companies haven't considered this technology because it's you know, uh, not particularly glamorous or not, you know, not mission critical to the organization. But we're seeing uh, incredible return on investment from some of these sorts of projects. So uh, I'm not making these particular numbers up. You know, if we look at this from the Aberdeen Group, their, their research, uh, we see the cost to process an invoice, if you're doing it really badly, is $34. And if you're doing it really well, is only $2. And you know, somewhere in the middle, we've got around $10 and 15 days to process invoices. So for the people on the call today, that's probably where you are sitting at, somewhere around, you know, around $10, around 15 days to process your invoices. Well, if you can drive that down to two or three days and drive it down to about $2, uh, you can make your money back on this technology uh, oftentimes well under 12 months ROI. So you know, why, uh, why is this technology interesting? Why, why is it uh, relevant? And, and why should you be attending the, the presentation today? You know, it boils down to uh, productivity uh, and, and costs. We can save time, we can save money, we can reduce errors, and we can make stuff accessible so that you can find it when you need it. So I'm Adam Wilkins. I'm the strategic uh, consultant at uh, RKO Business Solutions. And we're an uh, ETM company focused uh, purely on a sort of document control, document workflow, content management solutions. We've got uh, 150,000 hours of ETM experience, and you know our, our drive is to create elated end users. So every user, every company, every uh, employee has to interact with documents and content. And and by content, I'm talking about uh, web pages. I'm talking about email. I'm talking about physical paper, um, electronic documents. Everybody has to interact with these things. And so our mission is to help end users uh, deal with them more easily, more effectively, more productively. As an organization, uh, these are probably the, the four areas in the last, I'd say, 24 months anyway, that we've been very actively working in. So the accounts payable receivable. Policies and procedure management is a big one. Uh, for organizations, how do you make sure employees are using the latest and greatest uh, policies uh, in their day-to-day -day activities? Contract management's been very popular as well, um, making sure that you're uh, fulfilling the obligations of a contract, that you can find the contract, that you can support any litigation that may come out of the contract dispute. And knowledge management, um, an ever popular one, which uh, by this definition is um, how do you uh, capture the knowledge of what people are doing so that others that follow them can, can leverage that knowledge and, and replicate the good work that maybe has been done by others um, you know, weeks, months, or years before. So the five phases of data capture. Uh, the five phases of data capture are laid out in front of you right now. They are basically scan and store, which we've touched on a little bit, uh, basic recognition, intelligent data extraction, distributed capture, and enterprise capture. And we're going to jump into each one of these in order to explain them. And the first one of these is obviously scan and store. 
scan and store is the one that you're all probably most familiar with. You basically take the paper documents and you scan it and you stick it somewhere. So the benefits, are, of course, are that you don't have the paper lying around anymore and you don't run the risk of that paper going missing. Um, for you know, 15, 20 years or so now, our companies have had significant benefits from doing this. We were talking to a financial institution just last week and by eliminating uh, filing cabinets at their various branch offices and head office, uh, they were, you know, got a, an incredible ROI uh, in the terms of hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. So this first phase, yes, there's benefits there, absolutely. Uh, but this is what we're trying to evolve from. Uh, this is not really what we're advocating today, because pretty much everyone's got some sort of scanning technology in place right now. If you're not scanning at the moment, and if, the, if you're on the call today and you're still routing paper around, uh, here's your business case. Paper and storage costs, primarily, and, and loss of documents. Uh, water damage, fire, theft, uh, and, and most often uh, misplaced documents uh, are all very, very expensive and uh, are enough justification to, to move forward on one of these projects, typically. So if we're trying to evolve from basic scan and store, the next phase really is uh, basic recognition. So quite a number of you probably are already, already working on basic recognition projects. And this phase starts to bring in uh, some automation. So using technology like uh, optical character recognition, OCR, um, and other uh, things like barcode and mark sense reading, you can actually um, build a template. So after you scan the document, this template kind of looks at the document and says, oh, I recognize this. This is a, a hydro uh, invoice. And you know the, um, the invoice number is in the top right-hand side. And I can basically go off and start to extract some basic information from, uh, from the invoice without having to key it in. The great advantage in this is that as you've captured the, um, as you've captured the uh, document and it's now in a repository of somewhere, you've got some index fields. So you can very quickly um, find things by looking up, you know, uh, um, vendor equals hydro and uh, invoice date equals, you know, January 2013. So this sort of indexing and, and finding and putting it in the content system is where probably most organizations are today, I would suggest, particularly in accounts payable, um, probably not in a lot of their other areas. Uh, certainly the benefits of advanced searching, you know, the ability to find stuff, more access and, and responsiveness. If you haven't got one of these in place right now, your, your business justification is all around uh, accessing things. Can you find the stuff that you need? And so we get a lot of companies justifying these projects you know, we used to have it in the cardboard box and customers would ring up and, you know, say, well, our thing's under warranty and we'd have to go through all of this old paper to find when we uh, installed the, the, the thing. And it would take us hours and hours. We'd have to call the customer back. Now we can do it while the customer's on the phone. So they're the sort of justifications we get typically for this, uh, this level of recognition. So as we move into the third phase, we're talking intelligent data extraction. And this is where a lot of companies are trying to get to today. And, and this is where you start to dr really drive down the, the costs, where, where you've got your uh, invoicing costs perhaps at, at $10, $15, $20 per invoice. And you're trying to drive that down to the $2, $3 mark. You can't do it until you start doing intelligent data extraction. And so intelligent data extraction uh, builds on the first two phases. So obviously you're scanning it, and you're still using OCR to recognize various uh, areas of the form. But what you're doing now is adding um, what we might call intelligent extraction. So this is the ability for the technology to kind of seek out things like line item details or, or basically information that you have deemed important. 
and to be able to take that extracted information and put it into key systems that are relevant. So to keep going with the accounts payable example, we can take the invoice. We can not only figure out you know, who it's from and the date and the invoice number and index the document appropriately, but we can take all of the line items and the totals and the taxes and all of that information, plug it into our ERP system and do some validation on it. So this really, really drives down a lot of the costs. On top of that, because we've now integrated into the ERP system, you can start to drop this into a, a, an approval workflow, route that to the appropriate people for approval, if your ERP system doesn't already do that, um, and, and get the, some uh, productivity gains in that regard as well. So the benefits, um, primarily, data entry productivity and accuracy. And I've got some slides uh, that, that address some of that a little bit later, because uh, I know there's always some people that are skeptical, can the machine actually be as accurate in recognizing these ad hoc pieces of paper that are being scanned in? Um, so I've got some stats and figures on that a little bit later on. Uh, but certainly productivity and accuracy of data entry and getting that information into key systems so that you're not uh, doing multiple uh, data entry and, um, uh, and, and follow up. So the business case, no need to key information in more, multiple times and most companies are having to do uh, multiple rekeying still. Uh, a lot more business intelligence uh, around linking these documents together and uh, the reduction in time in, in locating uh, lost documents or, or data entry errors. So then uh, moving right along, once we've got some intel intelligent data extraction, we, we kind of look at, okay, so we've got a large volume of documents coming in. Uh, how do we better deal with this large volume of documents? So typically, organizations uh, that are doing large volume capture of documents coming in, have a centralized capture department. Um, so uh, documents come in, invoices come in, they get packaged up, they get sent to this central department, and the envelopes get opened or whatever, the uh, staples removed, they get scanned and all that sort of stuff. So this works well in, in some situations, but if you want to um, move towards the, the nirvana of a paperless office, you've got to start moving away from the centralized capture uh, concept. And so by distributed capture, what we're trying to do now is push 